Welcome to What's What. This video, we are inspired by the latest tech revolution which might soon become history in the realm of technology. The invention of bendable, flexible, and twistable new devices. The ultra paper thin screens are no longer an imagination. With number of hardware companies working on curved display technology and foldable electronic screens, this is a world war of companies where who makes the best first is the question. Samsung recently unveiled Galaxy Fold, with the likes of Huawei Mate X, Royale FlexiPi, TCL Foldable Phone, Motorola Razor Foldable Phone, Xiaomi Foldable Phone, LG Foldable Phone, and many more. Flexible Electronics is a technology that allows us to build electronic circuits on flexible plastic, thus making them bendable and stretchable. Well, all credits to Paul Eisler as being the inventor of the printed circuit board. Imagine having tiny smartphones that wrap around our wrists as bangles and flexible displays that fold out as large as television. You could wear your phone on your clothing or run an analysis to assess your health simply by wiping your nose with a tissue. Developments in ultra-thin electronics might go to another level, from curved TVs to glucose monitoring contact lenses. Your daily usable objects like spectacles or clothes might be telling that your blood pressure is high or indicating you to take care of your sugar levels to much more beyond imagination. A Chinese company called Royal developed the world's thinnest 0.01 mm full-color flexible display in 2014, which is not yet completed as a commercial product. While in every trade show, tech companies come up with some foldable screen prototype, volume is the key. The major challenge is making flexible electronics that are cheap enough. This is a high investment area due to its expensive manufacturing cost and lack of base materials and instruments. While making a flexible display, they have to think about many components like conductors, semiconductors, insulators, and barriers, which are then combined into a very thin film. So, if we change even a single component, we might have to change everything to make them compatible with each other. These factors play a key role in the delay of the production of the consumer-ready flexible displays. If these barriers are cleared, then flexible displays would be ready for mass production. The technology behind this is OLEDs, which don't need a backlight, making them thinner, usually around a tenth of the thickness of LCDs. Very soon, TVs will be rolled like pen, cameras can be kept like a small notebook, and you'll be wearing gadgets that can all be folded and kept in the size of anything. Wearable health monitors are another invention. Smartwatches are expected to nearly eliminate the need for smartphones, and wristbands will come equipped with sharper health monitoring features. Scientists are also trying to develop an ultra-thin, wearable skin to bring the sense of touch to prosthetic devices and robots. Although the complex challenge remains transferring electronic circuits to complex 3D surfaces that are bendable enough to allow movement. Another flexible screen usage was made in 2014 when Sony's 13-inch digital paper, or rather flexible e-reader, was launched. It was the first device to use a flexible e-ink display and new electronic flexible paper ink technology. Also, paramilitary forces and intelligence agencies will be benefited the most. The heavy-sized gadgets that they have to carry on any mission would be able to squeeze in ultra-thin and lighter weight electronic devices. Since most of the flexible displays are made out of plastic instead of glass, they'll also be less prone to breakage, even when dropped due to their unbreakable nature. Another big improvement will be in the location flexibility of the expensive and large solar cells, antennas, and sensors. These solar panels can then be incorporated onto the walls of buildings, clothes that you wear to objects as small as watches. They'll be providing electricity and battery life to things as big as entire buildings or items as small as smartphones. With foldable phones on the edge, everything flexible will remain no longer untouched. They are today's components and tomorrow's possibility. What are the new uses for foldable and flexible displays? The answers will depend on continuing advances in semiconductors, embedding them into ultra-thin plastic sheets, and their ability to be switched on and off quickly and easily. 
Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to click and subscribe. We have lots more to tell you.